It's a Thursday night at the dirt track at Charlotte Motor Speedway in the World of Outlaws. Case construction feature is underway here at the dirt track at Charlotte. In at turn number one, it's going to be big, sexy Brandon Overton taking the early race lead. Marler going to follow. Marler opening night winner a year ago. Him in trouble. Turn number two, we have a huge parking lot of late models. Davenport up against the wall. You got Shirley, McIntosh, Ferguson, Thornton, and another driver in the middle of that mess there in turn number two. We'll look at the Dirt Vision replay here in turn number two. Clanton. And that's where it's Overton in the set. It's actually Troutman. Yep, it's Troutman in the seven there. So Dirt Vision replay again. Let's look at 25 of Clanton right there getting around. Bronson able to drive away. Ricky Thornton had nowhere to go. Now Chris Ferguson, Zach Mitchell. Let's do it again here at the dirt track at Charlotte. Overton, Marler, lead us to green. Overton with a great restart of the 76. He'll take the lead off of turn number two. Marler with a big run off of corner number two. He'll look to the inside of Brandon Overton for the lead and Mike Marler to the lead with a slider in three and four. Mike Marler comes around to lead lap number one. Overton second. Dale McDowell third with the 18D of Dalton Wilson. Good battle for the top five and for the lead. Overton goes after Marler again. Mike Marler holds off the 76 of Overton. Those two go at it side by side off of corner number four. It's Marler over Overton. Madden follows in fifth with Kay Dillard, Hudson O'Neill. Then we have a good battle behind them. The 25 of Clanton, the 40B of Bronson with a 20 RT of Ricky Thornton Jr. and the 32 of Bobby Pierce. So now Madden gets around Wilson. That's the battle for the fourth position. He'll have Troutman in front of him. He'll put him a lap down off of turn number two. Overton has to cut the second advantage that Marler has. And now Troutman just going to take it to the infield. His night comes to an end. Caution is out around the speedway. They're coming back to green. 157 to Mike Marler leads us. Dale McDowell with a great restart. He gets around Overton into turn number one. Dale McDowell to second. Down the back straightaway, the 17M rolling through the field. Down the back straightaway, Wilson and Madden go at it side by side for the fourth position. Madden down the inside, Wilson down there as well. Madden takes the position down the front straightaway. Hudson O'Neill outside looking in in the top five here in the one. Caution is out. We have one spun. It's Tanner English in turns three and four. Mike Marler leads us back to green. Marler jumps out to a comfy lead down the back straight away. Overton and McDowell battle for second, and this time on the restart, Overton going to reclaim second as he has second down the front straight away. Dale McDowell runs third with Madden fourth, side by side for fifth. You got Dalton Wilson with Hudson O'Neill to his inside, side by side off of corner number two. The Rocket one is up to fifth. Here comes the new deal, Hudson O'Neill. Marler has work to do with 17 laps to go when he crosses the line this time by Brandon Overton. Going to start to close in on race leader Mike Marler. Dale McDowell, Chris Madden, Hudson O'Neill follow down the back straight away. You could visually see Overton closing on the 157. Marler trying to get around the 96 via Tanner English here. English, the first car on Marler's list here. Now the lead cut down to just four tenths. Marler. Needs to start getting around the 96 via Tanner English here. Marler slides up the racetrack and he has side-by-side -side lap cars in front of him. The 8 of Shirley and the 79 of McIntosh. Madden follows right there in third. Now over Dale McDowell. McDowell slips back to fourth. Overton right there now down to three tenths. Overton going to go to the top side, opens the door for Madden. Knock, knock, trick or treat. Here comes a 44 at Chris Smokey Madden. He'll take second off a of corner number four. It's the 157 of Mike Marler holding on to the lead. Side by side for second. Madden can't get around Tanner English on the bottom. So now Brandon Overton gets back around the 44 and the 96B of English to retain the second position. Now here comes Hudson O'Neill down the back straightaway. Hudson going to look to the inside of the 44 of Madden. Will race to the white flag this time by off a of corner number four. This is the Barrett's one lap to go. Mike Marler. Trying to hold off, Overton, he goes to the top side. Madden looks to the inside, down the back straightaway. Madden gets around Overton for the second spot, down the back straightaway, Marler drives away. Off a corner number four for the 17th time in his career, and how about it in his Skyline Motorsports debut? The Winfield Warrior, Mike Marler, wins the opening night of the World of Outlaws World Finals. Chris Madden second, Brandon Overton third, Hudson O'Neill fourth, Dale McDowell fifth.
number 157 race fans gets the case construction feature winner had the VP Racing Fuels checker flag here winner the Winfield Warrior Mike Marler yeah, when I got behind the lap cars, though, the track was really dirty, and uh, you know, in their in their dirty air and the dirty surface, I was really loose. So uh, I was actually kind of backing up on purpose away from them just to, to not get past bunched up, you know. So uh, worked out, you know. I was definitely sweating and looking over my shoulder a little bit. It is, you know, uh, really happy for Greg and Tyler Bruning. You know, they uh, put put us in this car and and uh, give us everything we we needed, and uh, to win, you know, first night out here is unbelievable, and. Uh, you know, I'm just really happy for them guys. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.